Okay, this video will be some update video on this self-charging battery. Um, actually, I already make some update video on this battery, but sadly for now I was not able to upload the video on my channel. But what I actually did on my previous update video was I show you this transition from pressure blue to pressure white and from the pressure white to pressure blue again. Which simply means that I discharge and charge uh, this kind of cell. But anyway, uh, like I said, this is the second update video on this battery. But I also think that this video will be a little bit more interesting. Because here I will show you a self-charging cell with a little bit better performance. So here I have my standard self-charging cell. Uh, which is simply made from uh, aluminium foil for the negative electrode then for the separator I use some kitchen paper uh, 3 mol of potassium uh, chloride electrolyte and then I coat uh, the indium tin oxide glass with passion blue pasta uh, this passion blue pasta I make when I mix the passion blue powder with the electrolyte uh, and then I simply coat the indium tin oxide glass and that's it. Uh, so if I measure the voltage at this stage is 1.12 volts. So the same voltage I also get in my previous video. Uh, I can also show you the current output of this cell. Okay, it starts on 13 milliamps, I think. 13, yeah. And then the current drops really really fast down and now at this moment we are on 1.5 milliamps which is actually not not a lot and also what is really important to know by this cell that the pressure blue was made uh, when I mix some uh, potassium hexacyan ferrite solution with some uh, iron sulfate solution and then I wash the pressure blue several times but now I will show you the cell with a little bit more performance which means that I will get a little bit better voltage and I will also get much 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 better current output and for this reason I will assemble this cell right now uh, here I have some freshly made aluminium. Here I have the separator, the electrolyte, and on top I will put this graphitic carbon fat, which is coated with the uh, pressure blue. And how I did it actually, I just simply Put the graffiti carbon fat into the solution of the pressure blue. Also, it's really important to know that this pressure blue, which I use on this graffiti carbon fat, is made from potassium hexacyan ferrite solution mixed together with some iron chloride. So, the pressure blue in this cell was made from uh, iron sulfate, but this one is made from iron chloride. So when I use some iron chloride, then in this case uh, I don't have the need for washing the materials because the byproduct uh, is some potassium chloride and the potassium chloride is simply the electrolyte which I use in the cell. And now the positive uh, current collector, instead of indium tin oxide glass, I will use some graphite plate will also work really really great
And now first I will measure the voltage of the cell. And I get 1.7 volts, which is really, really good. And now I will also measure the current. Here I have uh, the multimeter set on milliamps. <laughs> and now I get 500, 530 milliamps. And you can also see that uh, the, uh, the current drop is very, very slower, like by this cell. So the only thing which I did I caught, uh, I caught uh, this, I mean, I soak the graffiti column fed into the solution of uh, the pressure blue. And now, just for fun, I will make a little bit larger cell. My aluminium separator. And here I have uh, a little bit larger uh, carbon felt, which is impregnated with passion blue. Uh, and yeah, the size of this one is two, two and a half centimeter by two and a half centimeter. Okay, first I will measure the voltage, 1.77 volts, and now, and now I will go to 10 amps. Two point five amps. <laughs> so not bad, not bad. So this kind of battery is really, really awesome. But uh, the only sad thing is that this kind of battery have some really, really limited cycle life. Because based on the research paper. Uh, the battery will have around 50 to 60 cycles. So guys, that's it for now, this was my update on the self-charging battery uh, and yeah, we see us in the next video, bye.